Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of No More Operator. We got a pretty quick chapter of Sakamoto Days here, but I'm here for it all with you, you and me. That being said, we're right on to chapter 157 of Sakamoto Days, and we kick off right off the fresh critical hit of Shin to Haruma. And Shin admits, even though he's not an assassin anymore, he doesn't have to play by any rules when it comes to killing. Even though, you know, family rules and all of that. It is the first time, however, we get an explanation as to why Haruma is so sports-brained. He claims it's just too freaking easy to kill people nowadays. Everyone's inexperienced, everyone's just weak. He's strictly built different. Legitimately, what he says, because he's just made of different stuff than everybody else. Playing sports is just how he makes things fair, because fights are pretty mid. So if he can basically dunk and spike someone in the face with some kind of shot put ball and rearrange their organs with a kick to the field goal or whatever you sports fans say. <laughs> I mean, that just is how he likes to get the fun out of killing. It's how he gets home and sleeps at night after the nice and rough nine to five. Honestly, Zaraki Kampachi ass mentality. That's what it sounds like to me. But Shin is rightfully frightened by this. Just like Kumanomi, it must be something in the water at Slur's hideout or the Alkamar orphanage because these guys just frankly do not care at all about involving innocents or even kids and Haruma just rips off a mannequin head and goes, hey, try and stop this one. Fucking penalty kicks that shit right at a mother and child duo two point combo and Shin has to block it or um, it's going to be a scene in manga now. Devious actions, just fucked up honestly. Him and Kumanomi are losers. Sports are fighting fair, my ass. When you're just outright targeting civilians, doesn't really make much sense to me. But Arima's keeping up the pressure now, bowling with a statue and trying to strike Shin out, stuff like that, going in for an American football tackle. Oh no, I'm sorry, a fucking touchdown apparently. Just blasting Shin through walls, an entire catwalk. Shin, again, like we said last week, is frankly just outmatched, does not stand a chance in the fight that he's in right now. And honestly, just watching the carnage unfold, maybe I do have some questions about the power system, because how is Shin surviving this? <laughs> just to make sure we're getting in killing blows, Haruma just spanked Shin on the forehead. What a douche. I hate this guy in just two chapters. Shin is basically cooked, but he refuses to give up, which is respectable. He wants to be able to stand on his own two feet and be able to help Sakamoto as a reliable partner. The arc that he's been on for almost 100 chapters now. Haruma says it's time to invoke the mercy rule though, he really just does not want to keep beating on a senseless kid even though he was willing to kill a mother and child just maybe 5 minutes before this. Anyway, Shin again says F that, stands on his business, calls Haruma into the water ring for a sumo match, bringing stuff onto his turf, which okay Shin, let's see where this goes. I, again, will tell you right now, I don't think there's any world where Shin is strong enough to fight an Order member now, or at least an Order member level assassin. That's what we're supposed to be dealing with when it comes to Slur's gang, right? So I, again, Shin's out of his league. We need one of the Order members to show up and help him. Please have it be Osaragi, somebody, anybody, please. I know things are looking pretty tough, but either way, if Haruma is going to play by dumb sports rules and just make it pretty tough, then frankly, I'll take it. Give Shin the win. This is the only way it's possible, and we do what we got to do. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Anyway, guys, again, I really don't have much else to say about this chapter. It was a pretty short one, all things, you know, to be said but maybe it's gearing up for a big chapter next week. We're just going to have to see what happens in this 3v3. Maybe we'll cut over to Amane fighting Carolina Reaper, the one member of Slur's gang that we still really don't know much about. Maybe we'll see what's going on with Shishiba and Kumanomi, 
or we're just gonna cut to something entirely different. There's a lot going on in this arc right now, and honestly, I'm all here for it. Whoever theorized that this is Sakamoto Day's Shibuya incident, seems like it's starting to shape out that way. Um, but only time will tell. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in on this chapter review. I sincerely appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this straight to your feed. And if you want to continue your binge, hit an end screen video, check out the main channel. There's plenty more content for you. So anyway, see you in the next one. Peace, peace, guys.